Hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry at Mowers and Blowers. I am still waiting for parts for my uh, 928 Craftsman snowblower. And uh, so I didn't really have anything to do. I've got everything all, you know, worked out and stuff. But then uh, I had uh, one of my ads on uh, Craigslist. And basically, a guy called me up and he says, uh, "Hey, I've got a snow. I've got a uh, lawnmower. I'm gonna throw it out until I saw your ad. So you want to come and get it?" And of course, you know. Sometimes, you know, you uh, sometimes you get like really lousy, you know. Uh, lawnmowers and stuff you know it's could be really old uh, it's not worth it sometimes to even waste your gas to drive over there to go get it you know so you know I but I didn't want to seem like I was pushy or ungrateful you know for uh, for the donation and uh, so I said do you know how old it is what's wrong with it you know you have a picture maybe you know because you don't want to you know act like a dick you know giving it to you for free you know <laughs> you gotta kind of act like you're grateful for it you know thank you you know but uh, you know he was like oh yeah no it's got uh, it's not too old it's a yard man uh, it's uh, self-propelled it's got a bag I'm like all right I'll come get it where are you you know he, he was a little far it was about a uh, half hour 40 40 minutes or so so I went and got it yesterday and I'm expecting you know a yard man of course is always green and yellow so it's a green mower with yellow wheels uh, yellow shroud and all that stuff he actually said it was a honda engine which i don't think i've ever seen that it's usually always a briggs and stratton you know but anyway i uh last night late picked it up he, he left it uh halfway between his driveway and his uh yard and uh, i picked it up i saw him it's a nice guy yeah, let me uh do this I'm gonna flip the camera around. So it has a bagger. He said there was something wrong with the the thing, you know, the bagger. How about that, huh? It is a Honda engine. First Honda engine I've ever uh, seen on a uh, yard man. As you guys know, Yardman is part of the Yard Machines, Yard Works family of the uh, MTDs. Usually the uh, thing starts with a 31 or a 13 when it comes to, ooh, 12, 12A. So uh, as you can see, it is front propelled. Man, these Honda engines, man. I don't know, I don't really have good luck with them carburetor so it's, it's so difficult to get the carburetor off with the uh, auto choke uh, wheels look kind of rubbed out you know it's got the big wheels in the back the big wheel looks okay bag feels okay I mean he says that there was a problem with the bagging system or something like that well um, I believe he said it actually started We'll see about that. I'm going to take it out. There it is. As you can see, the uh, wheels are have been worn out. Usually the front propelled, if you use it on concrete or drive it on concrete a lot, which I don't know why you would do, rubs out pretty quickly. This one's a little better, which is a little unusual. Maybe there's something wrong with the gear so that only this one spins. So I just checked the bagger system. Doesn't seem to be anything wrong with it. Usually it's pretty rusted around that these corner areas, but I mean other than some surface rust doesn't look too bad. Bag doesn't have any holes in it. I mean, this little thing has to be, you know, clipped on like this, but, you know, looks okay. I'm going to check the oil, the gas, and give it a pull. Just clip that bag thing so it's good. Check the oil, uh, gas, and there's some in there, not a lot. Check 
check the Earl. Yuck. It's going to need an oil change, but there's enough of it. At least enough for us to just start it, you know. At least try to start it. Fuel shut off. Okay, this is off. Fuel shut off off. So does that mean there is gas going through or there isn't, you know? That's always been such a... See, so if it's off, I'm thinking I'm. it's on now, right? So on should be gas flowing. So I uh, tried to pull start it about uh, three or four times. Of course it's not going to start. I'm going to bring it to my garage and uh, blow a little carb cleaner into the uh, carburetor and see what happens. So there's some resistance when I push it, you know what I'm saying? Almost like the uh, wheels are engaged from the, uh, from this, you know? You can hear stuff. When you pull it, and you engage the drive, it almost stops. Which is right, I think, you know, because if the engine's not on, it's in gear, wheels aren't going to move. When you let go, it moves, but with some resistance, you know, from the belt. some uh, carb cleaner in there. Oh. Kind of frozen. So I tried pulling it a few times and won't work. Um, the choke was open and I had to kind of like push that in hard to get it to at the choke but it won't stay you know what I'm saying it's stuck on open so I don't know what holds that together you know but even though it was on choke it still wouldn't start I'm gonna check for spark pretty oily so I checked for spark it was difficult for me to put a camera where you know, I needed two hands, one to pull the cord and one to, uh, you know what I mean? So I couldn't uh, videotape that, but uh, there was spark. I cleaned it off pretty well. I blew some carb cleaner into the hole, put it back on. I manually just tried to jig this so that it, uh, the choke was closed. I don't know how that works, you know what I'm saying? I have to do this to keep it closed. And I don't see the mechanism where it holds it there, you know? So I think that might be the problem why it didn't start. But uh, once I did hold that there and it just caught there for a minute so that the uh, choke plate was closed, I full started it and it started a little bit, ran for about a second, and then it died. So uh, I'm thinking the carburetor is not getting fuel. It's probably too gummed up and stuff. And that'll give me a chance to check out how this auto choke thing works, you know. So I'm going to remove these uh, 10 millimeter bolts and take this uh, air cleaner base off. Because it's a Honda engine, it's Japanese, so it's all 10 millimeter. Same as the Kohler's. Short one, upper left. Long one, middle. Long one left. Breather hose. Disconnected the fuel line 
and there's not much coming out, if any. Gas smells okay, though. But what I don't understand is the auto choke, see? So here's the, you know, the lever for the auto choke, right? What keeps it closed? You know, levers here, right? What holds this? I, I, I don't see anything connected to it. So what holds this up to keep it closed, you know, to keep it choked? It's not going to start without a cold, uh, on a cold start, you got to have to choke it, you know? So what keeps it choked? I don't know, man. And I'm going to disconnect the linkage and take a look at the uh, carburetor bowl. Really pretty clean. There might be some water in here. It's a little bead down there. See that? A little bead. But it's relatively clean. Not much grime at all. Maybe a little. Right there. It's not bad at all. good. Seat looks good. I'm going to pull that jet out. I always have trouble getting that damn thing out. I mean, it moves. It's moving in there. It just won't come out, you know? Just like okay, hang in there. Finally got this mother out. It's clear. Took that air f f uh, mixture screw out over there. That screw out, that screw out, blew all the holes. Of course, I broke that thing, but I was still able to turn it, so it's cool. Blew that out, blew all the holes out in there. Blew these holes out. There's no other hole you can blow. I'm going to put it back together now. Of course things can't be easy for me. I noticed that thing wasn't moving anymore. And of course it's not moving anymore. Some crazy person came over and cut it. Damn it. I got her done. I hate Honda engines. Seriously. Terrible. But, uh, yep. Needed some linkage adjustments for the choke. When you push this forward, it acts like one of those uh, riding mowers. It pushes it so the thing closes. You lift it a little bit and it doesn't choke anymore. Got this thing for free, took apart the carburetor, fixed the choke linkage, as well as the throttle, adjusted the tightening of the uh, front drive, to clean this up a little bit, this is good for sale, free, that's right, free, see you guys next time on Mowers and Wolves. Thanks for watching everybody, follow me on Instagram at Mowers.